He will guide you into all truth. Well, don't, 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 who do we think we are or who do you think you are if, if you don't, uh, if you think you can uh, bypass the Holy Ghost? It's expedient for you, he said, on over a little farther in other places. It's expedient for you that I go to my Father and I pray him and he'll send you another comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Even the Spirit of Truth. And he'll come and he'll take of mine and he'll show it to you. Listen, Jesus wouldn't do nothing. He didn't take nothing and show it to nobody without his Father told him to. The Holy Ghost that Jesus told the disciples to go and tarry and pray for, he didn't do one thing. He just took of what Jesus Christ done and what he heard him say and tell and that's all that he tells us about. Now think about that. Think about that. Jesus said, For he shall not speak of himself. Now this is a part I believe the Holy Spirit's wanting to drive on. Jesus didn't speak of himself, Brenda. The Holy Spirit didn't speak of himself, Deb. Who's the next in order? Humankind. Mankind. Who are we to think we can speak of ourselves or be led or operate by our own mind and our own flesh when that the Son of God couldn't and the Holy Spirit couldn't? For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. Man, ain't that something? Ain't that something? I, that's the part now that I, I that I want in my spirit for people to get a hold of. The Holy Ghost won't speak of Himself, and He will just speak of the things that He's heard from Jesus. He'll take of Jesus. He won't speak of Himself. The Holy Ghost won't say, "I'm the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you to do this." He won't speak of Himself. He'll speak there. What does the Word say, Brenda? In the days of older and older times, Kenneth, that God spoke to us through the Spirit by his prophets. But in these last days, he speaks to us by his Son, the Word, as it showed to us by the Holy Ghost. No match, no, a man or a woman is no match if your IQs are equal to someone who's been filled with the Holy Spirit. The one has been filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will teach them this word here and he'll teach it. And that and it's the equal in, in intelligence and IQ will look like Ned and the Primer. Now, when it comes down to us, Brenda, you can go ahead. Went there if you want to. When it comes down to us, you can read John chapter 17. Verses 8, 14, 17, 21, 22. It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and then it's us. And the promise of the Spirit is the only way that we've got, Kenneth, to do the work of God. If we're not equipped with the anointing and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we can't make it. As a Christian, we might go to heaven, but we can't be effective Christian people. I couldn't stand up here and talk to you for five seconds if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit. He will bring things to your mind, and you remember, sometimes past, you've got to sort them out, don't you, Kenneth? But he's got a purpose for that because he's building something to do with. But be filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ spoke. What he heard his father speak, the Holy Spirit spoke of what he heard Jesus speak, and it comes down to us next, and we better be a speaking what we hear the Holy Spirit speak. And if we're not baptized in the Holy Spirit, we ain't got nobody to teach us or tell us what to speak. It's not usual. I thank you for listening. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Pray you don't have to act foolish. Just be filled with the Holy Spirit. You've got something to help you. Amen. Thank you, Brother Herb. It's good teaching. Amen. God's order of operation. No use the Holy Ghost about himself because he'll always tell you about Jesus. 
and if Christ is in you, it's the hope or the expectation of glory. Praise God. Amen. Baptize, baptism with the Holy Ghost. John said, there's one that comes after me whose shoe latches I'm not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Paul, asking some of the disciples, said, what were you baptized to? And they said, unto John's baptism. Then he laid his hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're not filled, ask God to fill you with the Holy Ghost, to baptize you. If you're a Christian, if you're born again, that qualifies you to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. This has been um, Sister Brenda along with the Brother Gross, Brother Herb, Brother Davey, and all of us here at the station saying until next time, you've heard God's word for today.